So my thing is though, the video game is coming out what next year so this time next year will be it'll be coming out yeah and some players are trying to boycott like or opt out of them not being in the game due to you not paying me my fair share well what's your fair share and and let me throw this out there who are the players have any players come out and said that they're not going to do it no okay so i think that this is all bs until i start seeing actual players coming out like real players coming out i don't believe it because i get with i get the argument of players should probably get more than $500 but at the end of the day if if there are 53 players on 32 teams okay that's just the southeastern conference right like that's just the sec they're paying so I, I saw I saw something ha, uh, somebody say something uh, the other day that I think the uh, NFLPA uh, has to deal with EA Sports and every year the video game comes out they give them like 1.6 billion but the game generates you know like over that or something I, I don't know how much mm-hmm. it is but they have a deal with them like I, I just googled it yeah well you better be careful Joe because when you start doing this you start making people want to go get this regulated. And when you get it regulated, it's not a free market anymore. So if they want to opt out, you know what? I really don't care. I just want the video game to play with my team. You know, like Madden had the, uh, what was it, like your career, the career mode where you could pick the college you won the national championship with? Mm -hmm. I don't care if it's generated players, Joe. I, I, I don't even care if I'm playing with the team that, like, it does not matter to me at all. So, yeah, you can complain about it, but no one really gives a damn if you opt out or not. Right. The The whole argument, and I really believe that this movement is just going to be pushed by marketing and agent representatives for these players because right. they want their fair share. You know, they want to make money off of the guys that they represent. But as it breaks down, it is such a, a stupid thing to complain about to expect to make anywhere near the ballpark of what NFL players make. So in the article that was released by on three, that was referencing uh, the college football players association and the representative referenced the fact that the NFL players and the NFL PA are getting about $28,000 per player. There's less than 2000 players in the NFL. There are over 13,000 players at the FBS label uh, level. There is such a massive difference in the amount of players right. and also marketable players between the two levels. Now, what we could compare is the fact that the pool of money is about $5 million for uh, all of the college players and what they're getting compared to what is about $47 million per NFL player. But you're not going to make any more than $500 or maybe even $1,000. It's just not logistically possible. My biggest issue with this and why I think it's it's really freaking selfish for maybe some players that are of bigger value to demand that everyone opts out. And you heard it for everybody else. You heard it for everybody else. 99% of college athletes, especially college football players, guys at Wyoming or Nevada, don't get any NIL money. None. So who are you to stand on the table and complain about it and demand more money when most guys aren't getting anything? Most of those guys are happy to get the $500 and to be in the video game. That's what pisses me off about this whole thing is you're complaining about something that doesn't deserve to be complained about. You're getting money and you're getting paid. You're not going to get much more. It's not possible. Yeah, I I, I pretty much agree with you there, right? Like, I mean... You do hurt it for everybody, but, you know, there's the counter argument of that that's like, you know, should Caleb Williams make the same thing as, as you know, core, the quarterback at Wyoming, right? Well, the thing is, the question that I would ask, well, does Aaron Rodgers and Patrick Mahomes, two quarterbacks that won't be on the game this year on the cover, what do those guys make? Well, they make the same. It's literally equal across the board, right? Like, completely equal across the board so the problem i have with that is is if if everybody's making the same exact money from the madden check so like let me tell you a story i know of a guy okay that played in the nfl Mm -hmm. he was in the, the league i think for five years okay so very short lived but he was a draft pick he played special teams i mean he was a notable player 
And he said that guys would show up on time, okay, for the man check because it was like $27,000, okay, whatever the whatever it was. And he said dudes would just go out and buy, like, one of their girls a brand-new vehicle and use that as a down payment. Like, it didn't matter to them because they're already yeah. making that, like, a bunch of money anyway. My whole thought in all this anyway is if you don't want to be on it, it doesn't matter to me. If you want to kick any player off, you want to opt out, that's fine with me. I just want the game back. Yeah. Like, well, I, I just want the game back. There's n – if – if so and so does not want to opt into the game, so what? But I will tell you because, like for example, Nick Saban, as we discussed earlier, is in Washington D.C. to lobby for reg uh, for regulations on NIL. We well, better be careful. And let me tell you something else: Saban better be careful because if he slips up and says the wrong thing. It could be worse for them in a capitalistic standpoint where they're like, look, we're not regulating anything. Y'all should they because name, image, and likeness, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, even the collectives, Joe, do you know collectives aren't paying players just to be there? they they have to make appearances in the contract, right? Like there yes. are still NCAA ruling on this. So opt in, opt out, do the hokey pokey, turn yourself around. This is what it's all about. I, I don't care what you do, but the bottom line is I get to play with the team that I want to play with. I get to build a dynasty. And by the way, half of you will be out in the third year that I'm in that dynasty anyway. Right. It won't really matter. The Like that's the last piece to this is it, it was painted earlier in the day, you know, in the clickbaity way for people to comment on it. And that's why we're talking about it right now is because it's a part of a, a large conversation today. This isn't going to halt the production of the game. No, even if every single college football player opts out of the game, they're going to find a way, but it's not going to happen. There's 13,000 players. You're going to rally 13,000 guys who aren't even a part of a, a national so there might union. Be a thousand players that do that. And those no, idiots are going to show up and they're going to be like, I'm opting out. And then when the checks come in, dudes are going to be like, hey, I just bought a new PS5 with this. Oh, I, I just bought a new computer with this. I just bought a I new, bought a new pair of J's with it. Like, And, and the I, dumbass I, who opted out is going to be sitting there like, why did I do this? Well, you got to get, I mean, I get, I do get some of it. I, I like It could again, be more than right? $500. I Like that's where I'll concede. It could be like a thousand, but you're, you can't go higher mm -hmm. than that. Well, if you paid, I mean, I mean, $13 million is not a lot of money, Joe. It's not a lot of money. So, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, like, that's uh, – maybe they should come off of a little bit more. Like, why not do $15 million? Like, why can't you give – Joe, you mean to tell me – Yeah, expanding the pool, you're saying? Well, are you mean to tell me that they're not going to make – five six seven eight hundred million from this game i'd actually be curious to know how much i i don't know enough well, i don't know the right market now, on that. as we're talking google how much money did man 22 make i'll google it too all right Madden 22 profit the game made 4.4 billion dollars in the united states last year Okay, I didn't know that it made that much money. Okay, so you maybe you should come but, off a little bit more, Joe. Four point wait, 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 oh, but, oh, oh, oh. four point four billion. But the question though is that is that how much was made? Does that is that well, I'm after sure that's all their gross costs? revenue? But I'm sure that's a gross revenue. But even if you cut their margins in half, okay, which let's look. Most business models in the United States and most business models around the world usually split 50-50, right? Like if you got 50% gross, and you get the 50% net, you that's normally how a lot of businesses work, right? Mm -hmm. So in all of that, okay, even if they lost two billion dollars, you mean to tell me you couldn't put 15 million dollars, give them instead of 500? Why can't you give them 1500? I mean that number is workable to move up to that. Now I think also now, part, I think also now, part of this though okay. on a year to year basis this number is probably going to go up just as it goes up with Madden. Well, I, well, I, I'm well it or go somewhere. down or go down. It goes. It's a 
the way that I understand it through the NFLPA, it's a percentage thing. However much the money generates, we give you X amount, X portion. Yes. Why not do that? You know what? You know what you could do? Joe, you could say in uh, uh, in December of this of that year, when the, the game's going to be released, if you opt in, what, however much it sells, we will give each player that opted in this specific percentage. You get what I'm saying? Like, that way it's even across the board. So if it sells, it sells. Right. Does that make sense? Like, hey, we will give every player that opts in the same amount at this percentage. I think that the percentage thing is is interesting to bring up. I just – if if they're making that much money off of the game – and they're only giving about fifty million to the NFL players. It's, it's like how much more are they going to give to the the well, NCAA? Why not give fifty million? They could move up to that number. Well, what but, I'm, I guess what yes. I'm saying is, is you're still giving fifty million to the NFL. Okay, why couldn't you give fifty million to the NCAA or to the? I say the NCAA, but I mean all of college football. Why couldn't you give them the same amount? Right, you like you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, the dis- distribution's going to be different, but the same amount of money's coming out. Joe, if if the game came out today, let me ask you a very serious question. Yeah, if NCAA football the game came out today, and the price tag was 150 dollars, would you buy it? Probably, yeah, I buy it. But it, does them is everyone going to buy it for 150 dollars? There's enough. Joe, if they bought the PlayStation 5, you mean to tell me that they can't find I don't know if money? it's perfectly projectable. I don't know if that's like well, you, perfectly hold on. Well, you mean to tell me that people will can go out and spend $500, but then for one month they can't spend one fifty. Regardless, it's not going to be there. It's going to be like 60 or 70 bucks, right? Yeah. Or if you buy the deluxe packages. Mm. I buy the deluxe package for everything. Joe, I buy the deluxe for everything. Everybody, you know, everybody's like, Blake, why are you so big and extra large? Not like Zion. But, I mean, I, because I, I always buy the big, the big, next biggest thing. I, I'm an addict. Right. You could push Jordan's, up the price if you need. New, new thing of Jordan's comes out, Joe. You know what I'm doing? I'm mm-hmm. getting the deluxe version. That's a little different. But you could push up the price of the game. I, I just think that, like, for them to make closer to – a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars. I think it's possible to move that number. I don't know how you're going to put together and rally enough of the players to actually have enough negotiating power, but to expect to get north of twenty eight million or twenty eight thousand, like the NFL players are getting, is not going to happen. It's just not going to. Yeah, and look, I don't, I don't mind that. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, if you think that people aren't going to buy the game, Joe, it's national headlines. 